in this video, we will be making balloon art. <laughs> Let's blow. The rules are simple. You will have two hours to make balloon art. Best one gets to split up to five grand with a random subscriber. <laughs> Time has started. Oh wait. Time has started. I have some experience with balloon art, so I'm pretty confident going into this one. I've never done balloon art before. I don't even know how to blow a balloon. I'm gonna do Jack the Skeleton. I found an example from Toby Twist on TikTok, but obviously I can't make it as good as him, so it will look a little bit different. Last time I did balloon art, it was not good. I didn't even finish my project, so. I'm hoping that today is a lot better. This is my first time ever making balloon art, so this challenge can either be really good oh, or anyway, sword just touched you. really bad. This could be my worst piece if I don't do it right. Your worst piece ever? Yes, it, this There's could be worse than, be worse stone, than art. stone art. We always go back to stone art. This could be worse than stone art. Oh, look at this. Look how the turns have tabled. I have the stick now. Hey. Okay, this is not promising. Yeah, I have zero balloon experience. Hey, hey, you're already making a lot of progress. I'm terrified, but I'm kind of excited to live my clown fantasy and make a cute little balloon sculpture. Wait, Mackenzie, can I see those? Why do they look like weird sausages? I don't know. Actually, this looks like something else. Hey, everyone, just a heads up, you have five minutes before our first mini challenge. That's so oh soon. My God. Guys, how do I blow this balloon? How'd you do that? I pumped it. Michelle, I hope you and the other challenges you want to help me in this one. Of course I can. What are you making? I'm making a hermit crab. What are you making, David? I'm gonna make a hummingbird. So I'm making Jack the skeleton. You're getting your inspiration from TikTok? Yeah. I'm getting inspiration from whatever that is. If this video gets a million likes, you have to dye your hair orange. I'm making a power puff girl. Cool. Everyone. Listen up, I need you guys to get into teams of two. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants me, guys? Ben, are we on team? Yeah. They Michelle's by herself. And Michelle, since you don't have a partner, I'll be on your team. For this challenge, we will be going outside and we'll be doing water balloon tosses. <gasps> no! Yeah! Last time we did this with eggs and it was so bad. I can't throw. Let's go. Hey everyone, rules are simple. We're gonna do a balloon toss. If you drop the balloon, you're out. The winning team has a big advantage. You will get to choose two balloons to pop in the next hour. That's actually a pretty big advantage. You can screw someone's art piece up with that. First one, toss. Toss. <laughs> toss. Nice. You guys each get to choose one balloon to pop. You guys have until we hit the 60 minute mark. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Seems like she has the most experience, so yeah. I am not nervous about getting my balloons popped. I think I'm the least threatening competition here. I am very, very nervous. Or Michelle, you can help me. I will. Yeah. Well, ben, I said I'd help you from the start. Okay. This is what we got. I'm done. I hate this already. Honestly, I think we're all on the same page. Mackenzie, what are you doing? I don't know. You said you're not doing a hermit crab anymore? I don't know. I'm just tying balloons together and seeing what it looks like and then figuring out from there. <laughs> that was kind of scary. David, your piece is looking pretty good. <laughs> it looks like a hummingbird. Yeah. Michelle, the body of your balloon just popped. This blows. Yo, Ben, what's this? It's a body. We'll look at it from the other side. Is this the front of the body? No. Are you still trying to make a powder puff girl? Um, yeah, but I'm reconsidering that. This is supposed to be the head and I have to add more hair. What I need you guys to do is grab one balloon of your choice, one that's not blown up yet, and go upstairs. Rules are simple. You're gonna blow up your balloon and you're gonna release it. Whoever's closest to that red X wins an advantage. It's like the balloon. All right, is someone ready to go? Go Savannah. Let's see it. That's kind of close. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wait, why did it go over there? Mich Michelle, your balloon went this way. Oh. Let's see who's is the closest to the center. This one is around nine feet away from the center, 111 inches. We just confirmed with a tape measure. Mackenzie is, in fact, the winner of this mini challenge. For your advantage, you get to choose two people and take away their pumps for 30 minutes. Do you guys want to make a truce? To not pop your balloon. To not, my, not pop my stuff and I won't take away your guys' pumps. How far sure. are you? 
You can come look we'll, at it. We'll go look at theirs. Okay. I won't pop any of yours if you don't take my pop away. Okay. Bean? Yeah. If you guys break that, I will hunt you down and murder you both. You better Michelle, go I'm sorry, I have to take your pump away. You don't have to. I have to. I have oh to God. take your pump away with your pump. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you guys can use it again when you guys have 41 minutes left. That's like nothing. No. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, I'm minutes. sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It had to be done. I can't have my balloons pop. Kenzie just took away my pump, and now I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to relax and rethink all of my life decisions up to this point. Munchie is upset. I can't blow the balloon without the pump. I'm sorry, don't look at me like that. I had no choice. I had no choice. Ben, Savannah, you guys have seven minutes to use your advantage, by the way. We're gonna use it right now. You two each get one poke. Savannah, pick one balloon. Oh, oh what, what? Oh my God, she's firm. All right, Savannah, you get a pop one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I've been betrayed, completely betrayed, and now my hummingbird is disgusting and it completely fell apart. So I need to get revenge on both of them. This challenge is so hard. Yeah, this was not easy. So I think I need something recognizable, and I think it's gonna be a clam, but I can't blow up anything until my timer's off. My balloon popped, and that was like my entire piece. I popped my own balloons four times, and it's really frustrating because all I want to do is give Jack the Skeleton an arm. Ben, would you like to pump another one for me? Yeah. Version two, and we have some bang action going on now. I wouldn't call this a level up, but it's something different. Everyone's is looking great, except for maybe David's because we popped his. 41, so I'm gonna start pumping. Michelle, you can pump now. Yes! This is just absolutely ridiculous. The amount of times my fingers have turned purple during this challenge is not okay. Surprisingly, Michelle is doing really good. And I think that she's the biggest competition out of everyone right now. <laughs> I don't know how I got here, but I'm here with Esther. <laughs> I don't want Esther to win, but at the same time, I want Esther to win. Honestly, I don't care who wins this challenge. Just someone just end this challenge right now, please. Everyone, we have our final challenge, and this one is gonna be a big one because the winner of this challenge gets one dart to throw. I think you know where I'm going with this. So everyone, come with me over there. Everyone, there is a lot on the line, so you guys are gonna wanna win this challenge. You guys are gonna pop all these balloons with your butt. First person to finish gets a dart. Second person to finish has immunity. Will it hurt? It's a good thing I have a bony butt. I don't know. Go! Ah! Oh my god! Mackenzie's going crazy! All right, Mackenzie's first! Ben, come on, you give me a second! You can get immunity! Oh, oh. All right, oh. Ben, you're second! Oh, what was that? What do I say when someone asks me, what do you do for a living? I get paid to pop balloons with my butt. Oh, I am definitely targeting Michelle's piece. She's doing really good, and it needs to be destroyed. Ben, since you're second, your piece is immune. Yes, Esther! Mackenzie, if you choose one person, grab their piece, and come with me because I have one dart for you. I see what you're doing. I feel yeah, like it has but potential. It's just not done. No. Sorry, Michelle. No. You no. Oh. Sorry, Michelle. No. Oh, Michelle. No. Michelle, I'm gonna miss. I won't be able to make it. I don't wanna see it. Michelle, come here. No. No. Not my jack. Uh, no. One throw. Mackenzie. Oh, you got it right in the belly. I thought you said you were gonna miss. Oh, look, it's right there in the belly. Oh my God. I feel really bad. I thought I was gonna miss that. I'm mad. I am, I am mad. All right, Michelle, well, you can still come back. You can still come back. It's only yeah. the white balloon. Not how long I took to tape it. Ah! This is the worst, worst thing that could happen. She popped three balloons, actually, because this one was connected to this one, and this one popped too. I'm a terrible oh. person. <laughs> Another one just fall. No! Okay, it's okay. Here, I'll wipe no. the tear for you. I'll wipe the tear okay. for you. Oh. I don't have time to cry. I feel like Michelle wasn't that sad at first, and then one balloon kept popping after the other. Michelle, I believe in you. Wait, You're gonna go so fast. Minutes? You're gonna go so fast, Michelle. I believe in you. I was only a fourth done. No time to talk. No time to cry. Let's do this. 18 minutes left. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. This isn't the quality of art I was hoping to make, but we are improving. 
Guys, there's three minutes left. No! Super stressed. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. But... <laughs> what happened to the eyes? Were they always like that? It is what it is. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, time's up. Mackenzie, let's start with you. So this is my bunny, and she has a little yellow bow. Very cute. Face is a little bit lopsided, but I like that you got the face down. I like the eyes. I like it. Thanks. Nice job. So this is Daphne the clown. She's bougie and gorgeous, and she has the most luscious eyelashes, and she's a Pisces, and she's just chilling in her clamshell. What happened to the uh, hummingbird? Well, I was like traumatized when everyone popped my art and I couldn't use a pump and I can't blow the balloons up. So I just kind of like helped everyone else a little bit and then I made a clam. Interesting. I think the piece is very clean. However, there's there's not a lot other than that. It's minimal. All right, nice David. I did Jack the skeleton holding a pink balloon. I know you were very sad earlier. I even saw you shed a couple tears when your balloon got popped. Yeah, I couldn't use my pump either for a good 30 minutes, so I had- You were just taking L this video. I found a loophole though. I asked Ben to help me pump my balloons, but then it ended up backfiring and karma happened because I, I popped it like four times. So how did you fix your piece? I just redid it again. Michelle, I am honestly very impressed. I, I did not think your piece was gonna end up looking so good. It just kind of came together. I don't know how you did it, Michelle. I, I'm very impressed. This is Esther the plant, and he's inspirational. Esther, Esther. I gotta say, I don't think this is your best piece. Ben, like 20 minutes in, you already had the body. So, so what did you spend the rest of the time on? Well, obviously the face, the legs, and the arms. All right, well, Ben, I don't think it's your best piece. I don't think it's your worst one. I think he has a chance. Okay. Okay, I did Bubbles, the Powerpuff Girl. I did two attempts at this, and the first one came out looking like a monster. Is it behind you? Alter something? ego. Yes, here she is. <laughs> she may not be the best, but she's an improvement. What happened to this one? I don't know. This one's just like tangled up. Okay, well, so very cute. So in this video, we are gonna let our subscribers vote for their favorite one, but before we do that, I'm gonna eliminate two right off the bat. David, I'm sorry, I'm gonna eliminate the yours. The subscribers would love this. I think we gotta go with the host decision. I'm sorry, David. It's cute, but I think it lacks some detail. Ben, I am eliminating your piece. I'm sorry. All right, everyone else, let's take some pictures and let's put it up for a vote. I think Esther did great. I think Esther had a great chance of winning. So the poll is now officially up on Twitter. The fans will have five minutes to vote. So if you guys want to vote next time, I'll put some more polls up there. But in the meantime, let's time lapse this. All right, you guys, results are in. So after five minutes of voting, we have the decision from the subscribers. In third place, with 9% of the votes, Savannah! Uh, all right. And the winner with 67% of the votes, Michelle! Good job, Michelle! Michelle, you got Michelle, you got your first solo dub in a while. Michelle, just like 30 minutes ago, you were in tears, and now you won. I told you, I had no time to cry. This is great. I'm so happy. Thank you for always supporting me. I did it, and we will split up to five games. Woo! Yay! We have six artists and six iPad Pros. Woo! And whichever one of these artists has the best digital art piece after two hours can win up to five grand. Whoa! We're gonna start this video off with two twists. I have 10 topics in here. You will each choose one. Who wants to start? I'll start. Me. Nick said it first. Close your eyes and choose one. Please give something decent. Robot. All right, I love that. ZHC Crafts, last five videos. For this topic, you can look back on our last five ZHC Crafts videos and you can choose one art piece and get inspiration from there. You can choose from glue art, collage art, duct tape, Rubik's Cube, or latte art. Latte art has every topic that Ben would want to do. Dragon, robot, what else? Building? What? Building. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait, that was perfect. Michelle always tells me building's the one drawing she dreads the most. Okay, this one. Wait, before you look at it, what do you want to do? I don't know, creature or something. Reptile. Oh, okay, that's, that's not bad. Close. That's, that's pretty good. close, actually. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, Vinny, there are five more topics to choose from. You shuffled them up. I'm just making sure you're not cheating on me. How would I even cheat? I don't know. Oh. No. <laughs> Nature. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie. Yeah, I don't I'm, like I'm taking a look at the at final all. ones. There are three that you're going to like, and there's one that you're probably going to hate. With my luck? <gasps> what? Yes! 
You chose the, the best one for you. Oh. Yeah. And the second twist, no reference. Oh. All right, good luck. Oh. Good thing I've got a built-in reference. <laughs> this video is meant for Ben to win. $5,000 out the drain. There's no hope on this one, man. Nature's like the worst thing. Pretty nervous here. I kind of feel like I have an edge because I can do digital art, but I uh, don't really draw robots, so. Vinny, so just for some context for the viewers. So in the last video that we filmed, when you guys did the phone case murals, you and Michelle made a deal. Oh, yeah. Did we? I don't even remember shaking on that. Did we make the deal? Or Roll the it? clip. So how about for the next crafts video, whichever one of you two wins gets the other person's help for the first 15 minutes of the next crafts video. All right, fine. <laughs> so when Michelle starts drawing, you have 15 minutes with her. All right, Michelle, let's make this building. Hey, you. Hello. What can I have to start with you for 15? Do you want to help me think of an idea? I don't know. What if you do like a little puppy or something? A puppy? How does that work? I don't know. I got the topic of the last five ZAC Crafts videos, and I'm choosing the topic of robot from Latte Art. And Nick here got robot too, so we're going to see who can draw the better robot. And if you're wondering why the background is green, it's so we can mess around and do stuff like this. Everyone, open up a new canvas. When I say go, you will have 60 seconds to recreate the ZHC Crafts logo. However you want, you can do it in your own style. Go! You guys have exactly 60 seconds. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I Zach, can't. my pen. All right, remember everyone, it can be in your own style. You have 20 seconds left. What is going on? Three, two, one. All right, everyone, stop what you're doing. Um, it looks like a green potato. Okay. It's a horror character. Not bad. You didn't quite finish the bottom. That's actually kind of cute. All right, cool. That's, that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Okay, not bad, Ben. Not bad. Oh, the tongue is so thick. It looks like it's choking on its own tongue. Yeah, I, like I don't want to go to mine. <laughs> Go! Funniest thing I've ever seen. I, I couldn't get the right setting. I didn't want this. I wanted a nice solid line. This is a uh, this is some fine art. It's abstract. <laughs> Man, this is between Ben and Nick right now. You know what, I like both. Why don't you guys just rock, paper, scissors? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. <laughs> Since you won this challenge, for the next three minutes, you get reference. Oh, beautiful. Go. Okay, okay, you okay. have three minutes only. <laughs> All right, so I've really never drawn robots off the top of my head, so I'm gonna try to find as many pictures as I can and combine them so I can finish this robot or I get an idea because I don't really know how to come up with the sketch. This first challenge just made me realize that the ZHC Crafts logo is basically a reptile, so I might use that as a little bit of reference. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this cool portrait of Mr. Freeze from Batman. Yeah. Reference work off this guy and build off of this when I come up with my design. That's not even a robot, that's Mr. I'm Freeze. Gonna, it's an android, <laughs> but I'm gonna turn him into an android. Michelle, how are you doing on your building? So I had a couple ideas. Turkey, turkey building, and I had a gingerbread house. A gingerbread house could work. I don't like it because I don't know what a gingerbread house looks like. I'd say get an idea soon because you're almost 20 minutes in, Michelle. So you and Nick are just doing the battle of the robots. Yep. What's your plan to beat out Ben? I'm gonna do more of like a, a realism style for this robot. So hopefully my realism you know can that. beat Ben. Nick, last time we filmed a crafts video with you, you almost got your first crafts win ever. Nick, you were so close to winning your first ever crafts win. We challenge. almost. God, this has to be it, Zach. I, I, I'm tired of losing. A tiger, I see. Yep. So I'm assuming you're using this as one of your references? Yeah, that's yes. cheating. That's actually, no, it's not. That's actually quite smart. What is happening? So I'm doing thumbnails like you taught me to do. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were doing like a comic strip. So this is the first one. Why am I falling out of the sky? Well, that's option two. Option two is you as a little uh, caveman and you have a little loincloth going on. Then there's the worm being, you know, almost eaten by a, a bird. And it's just oh, I think that one looks cool. It's screaming and it's called worm scream. You know who's really good at drawing birds? Who specializes in drawing birds? Who? Michelle. <laughs> Maybe you can ask her for some help since you helped her. He did not help me at all. Never yet, mind. Yet, yet. Hey, Michelle. Uh, yeah. You wanna make a deal? No. I'll make it worth your while. Okay. You draw me a bird. What do you want? I need reference. I'll give you a reference. I'll give you an idea. I'm thinking I'm doing this bird coming at this worm. I need you to draw me a bird. Wait, did you guys see the bird? <laughs> this is a sketch I, I can't of draw. a bird. I'm not really good at drawing birds. Well, if you're so good at drawing them, I need your help. Oh, uh, no, I can't. Please. I can only draw birds with a reference, and I have no reference. Right now, I'm opening up a new layer up here so that way I can do the line work. And then after that, I'm gonna add some color on this layer down here. Everyone, for this next challenge, you have to get into teams of two. Partner up and come outside with me. Also, grab an egg. Here's how this game works. You and your teammate are gonna be tossing an egg back and forth, and each time you guys catch it, you'll take a step back. Whichever team lasts the longest wins. Are you ready? Yeah. First toss, go. 
mistake. Oh. Why did oh. you do that? Step back to here. Go. One more step back. Toss. Ready? <laughs> step back. Okay. Beautiful. Toss. Easy mob. All right, now this side. Move back here. Toss. Yo! Oh! Toss. Okay. Oh no! Michelle dropped it! Let's go, let's go! Come on! <laughs> Michelle and Vinny, you two are the first ones out. Toss! Okay, that's good, that's good. Yes! yes. Toss! You guys can go one at a time if you guys want. Oh, All right. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try. Go. I'm trying my hardest. There's a big advantage on the line. Oh, 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 what was that? You oh, had guys. one job. Sorry, I no, said no. throw it to me, like right, to me. Nick and Ben, you two already won, but there's a bonus if you can catch this. Ben, so for this extreme toss, if you guys get it, you guys get an additional advantage. It's gonna be really tough. <laughs> no way, no way. Oh. You guys have a very big advantage. You guys have 15 minutes to decide whose pieces you want to switch. And then since you guys got an additional advantage, whoever you switch, you guys can grab them to help you for five minutes. All right, they are good, dude. Okay, we're gonna switch Michelle and Mackenzie. <laughs> Michelle and Mackenzie switch iPad or switch topics. Are you kidding me? Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just finished my snow globe. We thought you'd be happy because now you have animals. Oh, nice. Thank you. Mackenzie, Thank you. you have building. Oh. And on top of that, you get to help us for five minutes. Well, let's get this five minutes over yeah. with. I got do. stuff I gotta do. Who am I helping? I don't need help, so it's whatever Nick needs. I don't know if I need help. Okay. What? Then I'm working on my stuff. <laughs> you guys just wasted an advantage. Here, I thought I was super lucky by getting the topic of animal, and then Nick and Ben changed it to building. I was really happy with my snow globe, but it's fine. What, we switched it for you? Yeah, I know, I know, and it's fine, and I think I have a better chance of winning with the animal. Here's the progress on my super weird Zootsie Crafts logo. Hopefully, it can compete with Nick and Ben. Michelle, can you do me a favor? Can you go like this? Perfect, you have raptor claws. Okay, just stay there for a second. I have decided to make Bun Bun for my animal, because I don't have a reference, but I know what Bun Bun looks like. Like. So I blocked in my colors right now. It kind of looks like a, like a child drew this. That's just a little base outline. And then once we now have to do little details and shading. I am scared I'm not going to finish. I don't think I'm going to finish this, but I'm just adding a lot of wrinkles to this world. We are officially at the halfway mark, which means you guys are running low on time. However, we are about to have a very interesting challenge. So everyone, come outside with me. Hey everyone, so on the field, I have hidden a paintbrush. So for this challenge, this is the paintbrush they're going to be looking for. They're gonna have to find it. Oh no. First person to find it gets a huge advantage. Go! Oh. I feel like knowing Zach, he would put it close so that everyone runs away. I don't know how they're gonna find it. This field's huge. One clue, it's on this half. A hint, Michelle's closest. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I found it! <laughs> Michelle was right next to it and Jake just snatched it. Jake! Do you want to know the reason why I hit a brush? It's because you get to change the brush on three people's settings for the next 15 minutes. Say no more. Stop no. working for a second. Stop working! Jake, listen, all right? I didn't, I didn't punish you. You get to you use this. sword grass. For how long? 15 minutes. No! <laughs> what am I gonna do? So Jake's advantage is that he gets to switch brush settings on three people's pieces. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I like how you didn't choose mine. Wow! Mm -hmm. Just so you guys know you Give me that. What? Polygons. All right, Jake has chosen. Uh, Driven snow. Okay, I can work with that. I'm not gonna lie, that advantage was pretty good. I heard Nick saying that he was struggling to finish anyway, so this is definitely gonna set him behind even more. I didn't use this brush. Can I? You can't shade with this brush. You can't shade with this brush. Uh, my Apple Pencil is connected to my iPad right now, which okay, kind of sucks because because I needed to draw. My paintbrush is horrible. Okay, right now I have the color purple selected. And this is what comes out. Oh. That's not purple. Zach, is the 15 minutes up? Yeah, it actually is. Oh, oh perfect. No okay, way. cool. Everyone, we have one more challenge. I call this ZHC Crafts Trivia. No. Oh, man. So you need to score two points in order to win this. First question, how many subscribers does ZHC Crafts have right now? You guys can say an exact number, and whoever's closest wins. Five mil... 50,000. 5.36 mil. 5 million... 43,000. 5.38. 5.052. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5
All right, the exact number as of this recording is 5,072,000. Which day did we start the ZHC Crafts channel? I'll say February 7th, 2020. May 19th, 2019. March 17th, 2020. April 20th, 2019. May 19th, 2020. May 18th, 2020. Mackenzie, you get this one. Third question, exactly how many views does the ZHC Crafts channel have? 650 million. 63 million? 198 mil. 275 mil. 600 million. 420 million. Nick, you were closest. What did you say? Wow. 650? Uh -huh. It's 680 million. How many community posts do we have on our community tab? Ben? I don't know, like 17? 20. Tab. 30? 9. 22. Vinny, you are the closest. We actually don't post a lot on the community tab. We only have four. Everyone, I'm going to play a video. First one to tell me the title of this video gets a point. You guys can only guess once. <laughs> Oh, sticky note? No. There's a lot of small details that I'm trying to get. Toothpaste. Uh, yes! Ben, no. you got it! I know my brother, but that's okay. This reminds you of the others. Yes, Ben, I saw your sibling. Next hand. How did you what? get that from? Like, that's the only time we've ever done a sibling one. Sibling one. So here's your advantage, Ben. You get five extra minutes, and you get to draw a thin line across anyone's piece. Nick. Ben! And you can't erase it. Ben, one streak. I have to pick the ugliest color. Oh! All right. All right, you know what? Then I'm disappointed. Nick, so your options are you can add another layer, you can draw over it. But technically, I could I be able to like go like this? Yeah. Nick is going so fast, just erasing everything. I'm trying to get rid of everything so there was nothing yep. ever happened. My last two minutes though to get There's rid of this completely. Minutes. Yep. I have two minutes to come up with a children's book title involving a worm being eaten. Um. Time is up. Everyone, except for Ben, stop what you're doing. Ben, you have exactly five minutes. Five extra minutes to add some finishing touches to my piece. I think it's a finish. If I can come close to winning, I'll be happy. All right, Ben, you have four, three, two, one. All right, Jake, let's start with you. Let me start by saying that I'm not very proficient in digital art and I didn't really do it, so it's not gonna be as good as Ben's or Nick's. But okay, no worries. I went with your idea. I made a weird ZHC cross. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. I'm not quite sure what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of this like weird alien fetus. Where's the hair? I didn't put it, it was a style uh, preference. I think <laughs> that the no hair really changes it up and makes it look extra wrinkly and bald like. It definitely does get my attention. Nice. I did Bun Bun in space because my topic was, became animal. What do we feel like Michelle might actually get a decent amount of votes? Yay! That's really cute, Michelle. I like it. Good job, Michelle. I got the topic of last five ZHC crash videos, so I chose robot from Latte Art because Nick's doing a robot, so I wanted to do one too. <laughs> Basically, it's just a cyborg robot just hanging from like robotic stuff. I am very curious to see which robot wins. Good job, Ben. First of all, you got the topic of robot. Do you want to explain this robot to me? I got a chance to use a reference, so I used Mr. Freeze from the Batman series. And is made, he a robot? He's, he's like, an, well, he's an, I made it like a little Tony Stark android, so like he's a robot. This is just kind of winged, and then this like is like Darth Vader. I'm not very familiar with him, but I'm pretty sure it's a human inside. He's an android, I promise. I mean, it looks very, very nice. I like the color scheme, I like all your details. Ben uh, was able to draw a pink line and he drew it and I was able to cover some of it, but a lot of it was not covered, so. Uh... Very nice, Nick. I was originally given the topic of animal and I would have had an amazing piece of art, but then oh. it was switched to building and I can't draw buildings looking at a reference without, let alone. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that my art is poo. This is inspired by Dr. Seuss. I mean, I don't think it's too bad. It actually looks like it could be in a children's book and I feel like the trees on the side look very cute and I feel like your color scheme was nice. I actually don't think it's as bad as you say it is. Pretty solid. Thanks. So I did a child's book and uh, this is nature. It's called Worm Farm. Just What's that? That's some hay bales. It's so small. Well, yeah, that's perception. <laughs> Excuse me? If you're trying to get perspective, I don't perspective. think it was the right. <laughs> it looks very funny. I like the expression. Very nice. Thank you. All right, everyone, here is how the judging is going to work today. I will be sending random subscribers all of these pieces and they will choose their two favorites. First to five points wins. <laughs> even worse. So I just sent it to a random subscriber and they voted for Ben and Nick. Oh my <laughs> God, stop. This random subscriber just cast in their vote. First vote goes to Nick. God, stop. Second vote goes to Michelle. <laughs> Our third subscriber has voted. The first vote goes to Ben. Second vote, Nick. Oh, stop, stop. Okay, the fourth subscriber has voted. They voted for Michelle. <laughs> 
and the second vote goes to Vinny. <laughs> Vinny, you are officially ahead of Mackenzie and Jake. Oh this next subscriber has voted. The first vote goes to Nick. Oh my gosh. Second vote, Michelle. Yeah. Nick, you're one vote away from your first victory ever on ZHC Crafts. This literally happened the last shoot we did. The next subscriber has voted. The first vote goes to Vinny. Vinny. Why, yes! The second vote goes to Nick. Ah! Oh, is that a win? Is that a win? Yeah. That's a win. You finally won your first ZHC Crafts video, Nick. I won. Oh my God. Nick, do you have anything to say to the people that are supporting you? Thank you so much. I finally won a Crafts video. And it was digital art, which is my favorite medium. So thank you. Ben, you did a great job. Hey, Ben. Oh, uh, hey, man. We have four contestants and a ton of oranges. Yeah. Winner wins up to five grand for their biggest fan. Woo! My biggest fan's gonna be so disappointed today. Don't start the video off like that. You didn't even start yet. Can someone touch the timer? It'll start once you touch it. <laughs> the time has officially begun. There was a lot on the line. Your biggest fans will thank you. Orange art, we must be running out of ideas. We have made art out of crazy things like watermelon, chocolate, apples, bananas, but I think oranges are going to put their skills to the test. I'm really curious to see what they make. Orange art seems really hard, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna win today. You know what you're making, Michelle? So it's the orange has like a really rough texture, maybe a snake. That might be cool. Wait, how'd you peel it already? Michelle has I deadly have nails. I have built-in knives. I also probably should have given a safety talk. Should I be given a knife? Probably not. I have a knife. Everybody go grab your knife from the side. Everybody make sure you go Go grab your knife over on that table. I don't know what's happening. What are you making, Ben? Today, I'm gonna make something I've never made before. I'm gonna make an orca whale. Oh no, the world's gonna end. Ben's not making a dragon. Also, you guys, to find out who your biggest fan is, I'm gonna look for comments about you guys. So if you guys comment about Michelle a lot, you can be one of Michelle's biggest fans, and if she wins, you might win too. If you're the biggest fan of Jake, and you comment about Jake a lot, we will see it. Who's my biggest fan? Is it you? I'm gonna win for my biggest fan. No, she's not. I have no fans. My my station already so messy. Do you see how they do it? What do you mean how they do it? Michelle's trying to get free ideas from me. Oh, you're doing an outline of a goldfish? That is boring. Can you literally just shut up? First challenge, rules are very simple. Peel an orange. First person to give me a perfect inside wins. Yep. The winner of this challenge is going to get a huge advantage. Oh my God, these oranges are hard to do. If you're done, raise it up. I'll come over and take a look. It can't have any peel on it. Done. Oh, very nice, Jake. Here is your advantage. You get to choose two people. One of them is gonna help you for 15 minutes. The other person has to spin around for five minutes. Mackenzie peeled hers the fastest, so I want you to just peel as many oranges for me as you can. Would you like surgical precision or just regular precision? As best as you can. Okay, we'll do the surgical. Well, one of you is spinning. I really liked you when you had your mustache. I think it looked beautiful and I think you look beautiful now. Thank you. I think. You're beautiful. I didn't sense any truth to that. You know no, what, Michelle, no. spin. Yes! No! <laughs> Go spin for five minutes. You can't even tell if I'm spinning, can you? Michelle Army, please. I had to choose one of them, and it just happened to be Michelle. Everything I said about Jake's mustache was a lie. He looks ugly. Oh. I have a headache from spinning. I have to help Jake for 15 minutes, which is not that bad. I feel like I'll be able to get my project done pretty fast. So I'm not worried about running low on time. Most of this art is being done using the peels. So we're gonna put all these little fruits. We're either gonna eat it or we're gonna donate it. We'll be keeping these. Make sure you wash your hands and keep these nice and secure. I'm done at 37, Jake. Okay, I believe you. So far, I think everyone's off to a good start. Michelle is making great progress on her snake. Ben is moving really fast with his orca. Jake has a beautiful chameleon eye and Mackenzie, well, She's the crafts queen. I can't wait to see everyone's final pieces. All right, I gotta massage the orange. I cracked the orange. What are you making? A chameleon. Michelle, what are you making? A uh, snake. Maybe this is a sign I should do a dragon if everyone's doing an animal. I am loving my snake right now. I'm getting the outline and it looks pretty good. I think this is a chameleon eye and it looks like a chameleon eye. I'm happy that we're doing a food challenge where the food is actually like healthy. So, you know, unlike the candy art video where I was feeling very guilty. I'm just really using my X-Acto knife to carve out the pieces that I want. Everyone, there is also gonna be one more perk for winning this challenge. So if you lose this challenge, you need to make fresh squeezed orange juice for the winner. No! 
Eh, that's not so bad. Yeah, we have a lot of leftover oranges, and I figured I might as well make a nice cup of orange juice for whoever wins. So guys, for this next challenge, whoever wins will get to choose two contestants to do exercises. No. That is why I brought out this die. Everyone, come over here. So here's how this is gonna work. We are gonna play orange basketball. As you guys can see there, this is an orange decorated as a basketball. Rules are very simple. You guys have a basket right here. You get three attempts. Behind this line is one point. Here is two points, three points. You guys can choose where you wanna go from. You're up, Mackenzie. I'm pretty sure I'm already gonna lose, so I'm just gonna go from the longest one. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Okay. Woo! I win. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well, it looks like you win. Yeah! All right, so you're gonna choose two people again. One person has to multiply any number they land on by 20, and that's how many push-ups they do. And the other person, when they roll this, that's how many times they have to run around the studio. Ken's, do you want to roll to run? Four laps. Okay. Which one of these two beautiful contestants will be doing push-ups today? Ben, yeah. I have to choose you. No, you don't. I have to because if Michelle got 120 push-ups, I would feel pretty bad. All right, Ben, roll the die. I have to. All right, 80 push-ups, Ben. Thanks, Jake. I'll remember this forever. I'm not mad that Jake chose me, so let's get buff. Down, up, one. 30. Time for a break. Jake is making me do the running, which is fine. I'd rather do that than do push-ups, but I will be running in four, so it will be slow. Okay. While Mackenzie runs her laps, let's check in on the pieces. Well, Ben, take a look at the head. This is more pointed at the end. This looks like a turtle. Hey, that looks cool so far. I haven't figured out the face yet, but I'm thinking it'd be pretty easy to just carve out. That looks cool so far, Jake. Thank you. I think you went really big with the eye. Yeah, I did. How on earth are you gonna finish? I don't know, and I... <laughs> This is really hard. I see what you're trying to do with like the line work. Same thing as Jake. How are you gonna get this done? It will get done. This will be interesting. Man, are you almost done already? Yeah, I think I'm done. Dude, no way you're done. What do you mean? Ben literally gave it his all competing against me and now that I'm not in the competition, Ben's like, okay, I'm done. But obviously, I wanna win for my biggest fan. Ben, you're about to ditch them I and it's not even halfway them. through. All hell is breaking loose. Since we're winning this for our biggest fan, I'm trying my hardest to win. Every Everyone is frantically trying to figure out what they're doing, and I'm just chilling. So I think I'm gonna go play some basketball with Zach. Hey Zach, you ready to play basketball? Yeah. Jake went to the bathroom like three times already, so he hasn't been around for a long time. Stop blowing your freaking Red Bull breath in my face. I was trying to blow over the goldfish. Mackenzie's trying at least, so she's my biggest competition right now. After working on the orange art for a while, it seemed like Ben got bored, so he asked me to play a game of basketball. We're gonna play a game of DHC. Oh. They seem like they're having fun. Meanwhile, I'm out here grinding trying to win for my biggest fan. Talk to me, Ben! Talk to me, Zach! <laughs> I didn't get a single letter. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to give them a challenge? Oh yeah. Everyone, there's around 30 minutes left. I have a mini challenge for you guys. No! Everyone, this will be fun. So here's a challenge. You guys are gonna try to get as many oranges in your hula hoop as possible. At the end, once there's no oranges out here, the person with the least amount of oranges is gonna help the person with the most oranges for 20 minutes, which is like two thirds of the rest of the time. Whoa! You guys cannot steal from other people's hula hoops. Ready, set, go! No! No, I didn't keep going. Oh, okay, Michelle's got quite a few. <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh no! Ben, there's no more! <laughs> Jake! All right, Mackenzie, how many do you have? 16. 21. 9. 24. Jake has 24, <laughs> so Ben, for the next 20 minutes, you gotta do whatever Jake says. You does. are so lucky. I don't think I would've won that challenge, but I picked up all of Ben's that kept falling out. Jake, you have won every single mini challenge in this video. All right, let's see how these are looking. That's potential if you put some scales on it, I feel. Or maybe, like, you know the white side of this? If you did some, like, lines over here, that could look cool. Oh, Jake, this has potential. Feels I should've just did that. I might have to scratch an idea. I might have to start the peels over. Wait, what? Why? I have an idea. Right. Well, now you have Ben. Hey, Michelle, this is not bad. I'm trying really hard. I really want my biggest fan to win money. Mackenzie, for everyone in the comments that are screaming, Bell, Bell, Bell. Do you have a message for them? I'm sorry that I haven't done better. All I have to say is I really tried this video, and just because you finished fast doesn't mean the work isn't good. Yeah, Michelle, just because someone finishes fast doesn't mean it's not good. Okay, my time is done. Jake, I hope, hopefully, 
Shell's going all out. Yeah, I'm trying my hardest, even though I might lose. Two minutes and 30 seconds left, and my piece looks exactly the same how it did an hour ago. I'm so sorry to all my Jake fans out there. I got super frustrated because I was running into some problems with the mouth, so I just ruined my entire piece. Three, two, one. All right, everyone stop what you're doing. Let's take a look at the orange art. Ben, what do we have here? We have an orca whale. Ben, you were done in like 30 minutes and you just left. I was working on it and I was looking at my reference and I was just like, I think I can finish this in like 10 minutes. Efficient and 110% effort. I feel like if you went larger, you could have added some more detail. At the end of the day, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I gave this 120% effort. That's not a real number. And I made a cobra snake. It doesn't look bad. The eyebrows look a little scary, but other than that, it's a nice piece. Good job, Michelle. Let's be quick with this. I was looking around just 30 minutes ago and I was thinking to myself, wow, Jake has such a cool chameleon piece. And then now I only see the eye with some stuff around it. To all my fans out there, I'm so sorry if you really cringed when you saw me destroy the chameleon. So I just pivoted and made a evil demon lord. I still think you have a chance to win this. I did really like your chameleon though. I'm sad. I wanted to see the chameleon. Not bad, Jake. Okay, so this is Patricia, and Patricia is a goldfish, and she's blowing bubbles. I like the line work approach you went with. What happened to the fin? Is it supposed to be, like, chopped up? So that's the texture of the fins going. <laughs> All right, well, round of applause. Okay, not gonna lie, guys, I feel like this could be anyone's challenge. I'm gonna ask subscribers which one is their favorite. First person to five votes wins. The first vote goes to... Michelle! Woo! This next vote goes to Michelle! Woo! The next vote goes to Mackenzie! Oh, hey, Tom Holland's brother wants to judge, and he says, Dolphin is goaded. It's an orca! The next vote goes to Michelle! <laughs> Michelle keeps emoting. <laughs> the snake won for sure. <laughs> Michelle, you're just one away from winning. The next person votes for Michelle. You're the winner. <laughs> yeah. Oh my 